The Lakeshore cottages have always kind of been a mystery to the real estate world in the villages. They very rarely come up for sale, and when they do, they're usually sold to someone who lives right within the community and never make it to the open real estate market. I'm Gary McAdams with Barbara Anderson Realty, the village's realtor. If you like this video on Lakeshore Cottages, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up sign. If you'd like to see more videos on life in the villages and on the villages real estate market, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to stay to the very end of this video. That's when I'm going to show the best part of Lakeshore Cottages, the view of these amazing homes from the lake. Lakeshore Cottages is probably the smallest village of all the villages. There are only 49 homes in here. They were originally used to put people up when they came to do the lifestyle tour of the villages years ago. Then, of course, the village's development department realized they could be sold for a lot of money and they went on the market. There are a lot of great features about the Lakeshore Cottages. My favorite is the unique individual style of each home. The houses in most of the other villages will be grouped together in like-type homes. You'll find a series of designer homes in the same neighborhood, or a series of premier homes in the same neighborhood, or a series of patio villas in the same neighborhood. I find every house in the Lakeshore Cottages to be a little bit different in its own way. If you enjoy the nightlife of the town squares, you will love the location of Lakeshore Cottages. They're located about a five-minute walk to the Sumter Landing Town Square, all of the shops at Sumter Landing, the restaurants. Sumter Landing has a little bit of everything for everybody. The restaurants range from barroom style places with burgers and fries to fine dining and everything in between. There's a few nice restaurants down there right on the water at Lake Sumter. I ate on the water at RJ Gators last night and I liked it a lot. All of the homes at Lake Shore Cottage have their own private garage a driveway for more off-street parking. But you'll notice as we go through the homes, there's also a couple of lots designated for visitor parking that can accommodate about half a dozen cars each. Parking along the town square may be a difficult process, but it will always be easy to find parking if you own one of these great homes in Lakeshore Cottages. The neighborhood here seems to be a very tight-knit community and all the residents are friendly. Anytime I drive through, everybody waves and has a smile and a kind word to say. It would make sense they would be a tight-knit community where most of them are all long-term residents. And on the rare occasion that one does come up for sale, it's usually sold within the community to one of the neighbor's friends or cousins or a family member somewhere. You'll notice all the homes in here and the yards are kept impeccable. They have a lot of community pride in their neighborhood. Another feature I really like about the Lakeshore Cottages. It would be really tough to put a price on the average house here in the neighborhood where they don't sell. I combed the MLS. I called the Villages Development Company. I called a realtor I know who works directly for the Villages and even tried the Daily Sun, the Villages local newspaper. None of them are aware of any that are currently for sale or any that are going to be coming up on the market in the near future. I did go on the Sumter County Property Appraisers website and I found one that sold for $880,000 on December 16th. This one was probably one of the least desirable homes in the Lakeshore Cottages. It backed up to Lakeshore Drive, which is the main road going into the Sumter Landing Town Square and a heavy traffic road. It was also a very strange setup house. It was a 1900 square foot house that was cottage style. It was one large room with a kitchen in it. It had bedroom closets, just like a regular walk-in closet in your bedroom, and it had a couple of bathrooms, but it was just one large room, no designated bedrooms, living rooms, parlors, or anything. This home did also have a screened lanai in the back, but it was overlooking Lakeshore Drive. Then they had a garage out front, just like any other house. When I ran a search on the MLS for past sales, the most recent one I could find was 2018. Another one had sold in 2016, and those are the only two that were reported on the MLS. If I had to make an educated guess as a real estate professional, 
I would say the interior homes in Lakeshore Cottages would probably sell on low end around a million five hundred thousand, on the high end up around two million dollars. Once you get out to the homes on the lake, my guess would be on the very low end about two million dollars, and on the high end well over three million. But that's just a guess, whereas I have no comparables to go by. As you can see, these lakefront houses have plenty of great balcony space and some really nice lanais. Most of them have pools in the backyard overlooking the lake as well. The way these homes are situated, you get an amazing sunset view over the water. The piece of land just to the left of these houses, if you're looking from the water, is actually called Sunset Park. It's not unique to see 25 or more golf carts sitting there every night watching the sunset. And now, since you've stayed through the end of this video, I'll bring up an added bonus I've been offering in my other videos. If you buy or sell any home with me in the Villages by March 31st, 2023, I will donate $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. You don't have to close by March 31st. The listing agreement or the contract for purchase and sale just has to be signed by then. There's one other catch, but you can take care of that right now you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to take a look at any homes for sale in the villages, or maybe hold out and see if we can find you one here in the Lakeshore Cottages, give me a call, 352-809-8723. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more of these videos. I'm Gary McAdams with Barbara Anderson Realty, the Villages Realtor.